Welcome back. Now it's time for the mix. Take a look at an unexpected passenger aboard so cool. one flight. Do you see over there, the upper right hand corner? Yep, that's a cat on the wing of the plane. As they are about to take off there, this is over French Guinea. The pilot, Roman Jantot, <laughs> discovered that the cat had snuck on board. Oh and as soon as, yep, yep, as soon as this discovery was made, <laughs> they start descending, they bring the plane down, and I can happily report the cat made it out just fine. <laughs> you can see the surprise on his face once he looks up and sees this cat up there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the cat is holding on for dear life. Doing pretty good, and we can report just fine. No cats got injured in this <laughs> as a result. Good. Pretty cool. Okay, so you know, us Americans, we're, we're used to our mascots, and we have some pretty famous ones. Of course, you have like the San Diego Chicken. Uh huh. Uh, you have Mr. Met, of course, the Philly Fanatic. Well, over in Scotland, the new the football team, the Partick Thistle, they decided to come up with a new mascot. They got tired of the old guy, and this is what they came up with. What? Yeah, what this is, is their new mascot. Uh, Sunshine? It, it, he's called Kingsley. Some people have made quite a, what, quite fun of it. He looks like a splattered starburst. It's <laughs> a sunny side up egg. <laughs> we could go on and on. Yeah. So I gotta look at some of the memes that have come out as a result of this one. Uh. <laughs> uh, some people call it a demented nightmare son. Or oh, if, uh, Lisa hey. Simpson and Atelius Hobby had a baby. Oh, that's <laughs> this pretty is good. What it yeah, like. I could see that. <laughs> pretty good. It nice. didn't. It didn't go over. Well. It didn't go over too well. Huh? Nah. How about Mickey D's? We always have a little fast food update on the show at some point. Mickey D's launching what's called the Mick Bike. You see that there? They're trying to reach out to millennials, and they realize lots of millennials like to ride bikes. Mm -hmm. So they came up with this little handy thing you can put right there on your bike. It holds your drink, your fries, your burger. It was created in Buenos Aires, launched in Denmark and Colombia. It's going to go to Japan and Amsterdam, hmm. and hopefully it'll come over to our neck of the woods for bikers. It's easy. You pick it up, and you just hang it on your bike. It just seems to be contrary to the concept of, you know, you're putting on 2,400 calories with a, with a Big Mac, and then Yeah, that's biking. why I just eat the fries. It's 220 <laughs> and a Diet Coke. Very that's good. Healthy, and a Diet Coke. All right, you know, selfie sticks have gone pretty much from silly to sane mm -hmm. in, what, I guess a year or so, and now they have hit the fashion runways. Take a look at this. The famed designer, Pucci, mortalizing the selfie stick there. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a guy there, embroidered image of a guy holding a selfie stick. It's all about the selfie, even on the catwalk. It really is. And that dress looks hideous. 